Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my online class where today we're going to be making graduation cards. I got lots of requests for graduation cards and um, I actually have a, my first son is graduating. I saw I'm not the only one. My first son is graduating from college uh, in a couple of weeks. I can't even believe this is happening uh, already. <laughs> it seems like he just started as a freshman. And so uh, I'm killing two birds with one stone because I made this card for his graduation. And I'm also going to, I'm going to make um, a similar one. I'm, I'm actually going to make the female version. So then I have a couple of friends, uh, daughters that are graduating as well. And I thought, well, I don't want to tie on theirs. I think they would like something a little more feminine. So um, I'm going to show you how to make both of them. So you can go masculine, feminine, and then you just change the colors for um, whatever the school colors are. So it's pretty fun. I'm also going to show you a little trick on how to make the um, this little uh, square because this is actually a rectangle die. So it's really easy and it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's, this is from one of the new dies that are coming out in the new catalog. And it is Hero Week on my blog. If you haven't checked out all of these other ones, today's the grand finale. <laughs> Graduation is the grand finale. So we had our heroes earlier in the week. Uh, we had our, our nurses and doctors, the military, the police, the firefighters. And um, then last week I had uh, dad's suit and tie or, you know, a suit and tie, Mr. Suit and tie. And then we had Mother's Day cards. And so rounding it all off, I have instructions or videos for every single one of these cards and all you need to do is click on the link in this video's description and you will also be able to download the free PDF at that on that link as well and if you can't find it if you're on a mobile device and it doesn't show everything just go to stampwithtammy.com and then click the video tab and I have hundreds hundreds and hundreds of video tutorials and I love to share I love when you come and visit me over there and it be feel Feel free to subscribe there and here. You might be watching live on Facebook or on YouTube. Either one. Uh, I, I love to have you join me every every class, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, last piece of information before we get started with the stamping is the prize patrol. So every time I have a live stream, I always have prize patrol. And you don't have to be watching live to win. All you need to do is drop a comment on the video, on my original video, um, either on Facebook or YouTube. I, I bring I bring comments from both of them and, and when I do the drawing. And so I'm giving away a package of watercolor pencils. Something a little fun and different this time. We'll start playing with those again soon. So uh, it, I'm giving away a package of those free. All you need to do is drop a comment or well, and actually and if you share this <laughs> if you share this broadcast onto your social media to Facebook or Pinterest or uh, one of the like and type the word shared after you do that into the comments. I'll enter you a second time into this drawing. All right, let's get started with the stepping. Yes, <laughs> what well, we all came here for on a Friday, Friday afternoon. So here's the two cards. They're both done exactly the same, just a slightly little different um, collar here. You know, for the one's got a dress and a necklace, and one's got our tie and collar on here. But other than that, they're basically the same in just different school colors. And what's cool about this is it's hero week, right? And it's it, it's suit and tie. <laughs> it's tie suit and tie dye week. So I've been playing with the suit and tie dyes. So here's the fun thing, right? So you've got we've got our grads and then we've got um, we've got mom and dad, right? So mom and dad can have their if you have, you know, like grand grandkids that are graduating, you can make a card for dad, for mom, and for your grad, right? How cute is that? Okay. Or you can do the Mother's Day, Father's Day, grad. And you know what? I, I got a little something here for everyone. We've got some more mom. We've got our nurse card. Uh, huge note on this camouflage. Um, if you're a hunter or for the military, this was my military appreciation, but the, the camo would work for either that stamp. This camouflage stamp is retiring. This camouflage stamp is only available until Monday, so... You might want to get that one and all of the products that I, I'm using today are available in my online store at stampwithtammy.com. If you're on YouTube, I also have links in the products description in this uh, video description that goes right to them. So my video on Tuesday, would how to make these two. If you missed them, you can, you can get the link. I have it on the resource page or again, stampwithtammy.com. All right, so let's get started. So um, I have... We have a couple of friends that are graduating, and they're all graduating from different schools. So I have, I'm going to be doing all different school colors today. 
So the, the next one that I'm going to be making right now, um, that's going to be for a girl. So I'm going to do the girl version, but I'll show you how to do both. And um, their colors are, um, they're like a, a maroon and gold. So I'm going to be doing them in those colors right now. And that's all you need to do. If you have different school colors, just change up the cardstock that you're using. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is cut out um, the v-neck of the gown. So this piece right here is going to be the gown. And um, I'm going to use the suit and tie dies that we've been using all week, right? Who knew these dies were so versatile? I feel like they are completely, the, the things that you can do with these are endless. Endless. So if you guys come up with some other awesome ideas, share them on my Facebook. I would love to see them. I just, I'm, I'm just loving this dye. I'm fairly addicted to it, I think. Okay, so we want the V-neck right now, which is this this V. We're going to cut that right into our cardstock. And the, the dimensions for this are on that free PDF on my blog. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Dye Cut Machine. Okay. So this is um, Merlot, uh, Mary Merlot cardstock is what I'm using to, to go with these school colors. I'm going to bring this, I'm not bringing it all the way down. I don't want it to go too, too deep. So maybe right about there. And it, we can make adjustments to it after if we need to. But this is going to be a guide, a guide to get us started with the V-neck. Okay. Ooh, NFL football jerseys. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a really good one, Christine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's going to give us our V-neck, and then um, oh, but you know what? Before I put that away, I'm also gonna while we have that out, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do our cutting. So um, do our cap cutting. I, I have a, a little trick to share with you on how to make the cap. So um, this is cut to one and seven eighths squared. So one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And um, I, I pre-cut it to this size for a reason because I wanted it to be a, an exact square. And I, for this technique, I think that is the easiest way to get it to come out right. Okay, so bringing that back in. And the die set that I'm using here, this is the uh, scalloped contour dies. It's a brand new set. It's coming out in the new catalog. I used it with the in color cards that I shared last week and the um, and the bags and the bundles. I was using this um, with it. What's great about this one, oh, it does match a stamp set, but these scalloped framed layering dies are to die for. But um bump, get it to die for. <laughs> They're just fabulous. So I'm taking the second smallest one. These are coming out to customers on May 4th. They are available now to demonstrators. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is line this up so that the, the top edge and the sides are perfectly right up against the edge of the cardstock there. And I am going to take a piece of um, post note to hold this in place because I do not want it to move. There we go. Okay, so that's just going to kind of hold it steady. And all right, there's, okay. The trick to this, sorry, spinning it around. The trick to this is, no, nope, nope, had it right the first time. Sorry, okay. The trick to this is, <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. The trick to this is you cannot um, put the top, uh, plate, the top plates where all the magic is, you can't put that over the end or it'll mess everything up. Okay, so I am just, um, just so you can see right here how I have it set up. So the top, there's a, a bottom cutting pad that's full. The top cutting pad is almost, like three quarters, maybe even seven eighths of the, um, of that square, just not the very, very end. And I'll show you what that's going to do. Okay. So that's going to cut. Now it didn't cut all the way through to the end because that cutting pad ended right here, which is exactly what I wanted it to do because this normally would cut a rectangle and I wanted to cut a square. So the next thing I'm going to do is line it up and I'm going to try to kind of line up the scallops exactly like they are. And it should 
If you, if you do it right in that edge, it should line up right. Again with the posty note. Don't want it to move. And then I, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm even going to put this um, top plate even further down because I really just maybe the the bottom quarter of that square. So the bottom quarter is where I'm putting that um, cutting. That, my friends, cuts a perfect square out of the rectangle contour dies. Nice, right? So lots of possibilities. Now all of those uh, rectangle dies you could cut into a square from that entire set exactly the same way that we just did this one. So it's all in that top cutting pad. You just gotta, just gotta move it just a hair and it, it's awesome, right? Now, an alternative to this, if you have the stitch shapes, which which has sold out, by the way, the stitch shapes dies, they were the best, right? You could use the square, a square sculpt square from that, I mean, a regular stitch square from that one. Okay, so this is the contour dies again that I use. See how they're all rectangle, but you could turn any one of these rectangles into a square using that technique. So that's our cap. All right, the rest of this I have pre-cut. And you will find all of these measurements on the free PDF that is on my blog at stampatimi.com or by clicking on the link in the video's excuse me, description. And go back down here. So this is going to be the stole here. So this I did in the school's colors because her school colors are maroon and gold. And here is the um, top part that we just cut. And this will end up being our scroll after. And then I've got my, my card base here. All right, so all we need to do now is assembly. And um, actually, you know what? There are, there, <laughs> there was another, I knew, I knew I was missing a piece here. Okay. Just moving those back a little bit. Okay, so. I, I held these out separately because this is the part that will change depending on whether you're making the feminine version or the masculine version. So if you want the tie version, these are the three pieces that you'll want. You want to cut the collar and, and stamp and cut the tie out of your matching school colors. If you want the feminine version, I've got uh, petal pink here and again measurements on that PDF and this, oh, where do you see this? I got to show you this. It's brand new. I was like, oh my gosh, I was trying to think of um, a, a different option that I could do to make that card feminine. Oh, I don't know if the camera's going to show what this really is. This is a linen specialty paper. Can you guys see the texture on it? It really feels like linen. It feels like a linen tablecloth. It is, it's cardstock, so it's paper on the back. This is coming out in that new catalog, so it's out for demonstrators can get this linen um, specialty paper now, and customers can get it on... Um, Oh my gosh, May 4th, I'm drawing a blank. And the other beautiful thing about this linen is, wait for it, there, if you, it, it's sticky backed. <laughs> so it, it's self-adhesive, it's self-adhesive linen and um, you can use it with the cardstock backing, or you can use it. Um, you can you can you can take it and put it on something. Now, when you use the um, linen separately, it is opaque. You can see through a little bit. Um, so when I use it today, I'm going to use it on the cardstock that it comes on. But wow, is it cool stuff! I love it. Okay, so these again are um, these pieces that I have right here. This side would be if you're making this card for the masculine version, and this side is for the feminine version. Now, I am going to make the feminine version today. I'm making this for a girl. So I'm going to show you how to make it both ways. Let's go ahead and do the stole part first. And somewhere I've got... There we go. I need my silicone mat. All right, so I'm just taking some um, seal adhesive, and I'm going to work from the inside out with the stole. So... Because her school colors were maroon and gold, I took, uh, this is crushed curry. And I'm going to put that right in the center of the white. 
I made these strips a little bit long. Um, when you, you could make them shorter if you wanted to, but I wanted just to be safe, and then I figured I'd trim them down after I put them on. Okay, and that's gold foil that's underneath there. I'm glad you guys like this one. I had a lot of fun designing it, and you know when you're designing it for somebody really special, you know, it really it makes it even more special. I can't even believe my son is graduating. That's just killing me. It's absolutely killing me, the thought of that. Okay, so now we're going to attach that. I'll just keep my silicone mat out. We're going to attach that to um, the collar. So I might need to trim this down because I was really kind of using the V-neck as um, kind of as a guide which is fine. So I'm going to kind of lay it where I want it to be. I'm putting these up against this corner and then angling them as much as you'd like them to come down. And then if you need to, you can trim out some of that right there. And I think that's how, and so down here, don't worry about this too much because it's going to be covered with the cap. So when we put the cap on, we're going to cover that. Okay. Now, I know I'm going to have to trim down this side a hair when, when I put this on here. So I'm, I'm not going to press down too hard when I put this on. Right about there. And Okay, so I'm lining it up again with that outside edge. Coming down. And like I said, I'm going to have to trim that tiny. There's a tiny little hair of the uh, Merlot that's showing. I'm just going to snip that <laughs> carefully so that I don't. There we go. Okay. Then we can trim off the excess here. Just flip that over. And... Okay. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we can go ahead and attach this part to um, the card. And I'm going to use um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, when I did the black and orange one, uh, one of the girls that's graduating, her school colors are black and orange. I, I used the black dimensionals on the back of the hat because the hat was black. And it, it was just blended in. So that's going to cover up where everything meets right there. Okay, so now is where uh, you determine which which one you want to make, whether you want to go with the tie or whether you want to go with the, the dress, or you, know, you could probably mix this up even more if you wanted to. So I'm just going to lay this out. I'm making oh, I'm trim this a little bit more in there. I'm, I'm going to lay this out for the, the suit and tie card, but then in the end I'm going to make the other one because this one's going to be for a girl. Mine's going to be for a girl. Okay. Okay, so they both start exactly like this. Now, if you're going to do the suit and tie, and I have measurements for um, all of these pieces, either, which, whichever way you go. The suit and tie is going to take the white, and that's going to get attached to the card base right there. And then you're going to layer this over it. And then you're going to take the collar that you cut. Okay, mine split, but it's okay if it does that. It's very delicate. Um, just want to make sure I get the right one on top. So the collar goes like that. So you attach, on all that's attached with seal adhesive, and then this tie is going to tuck underneath, and it'll actually tuck underneath that, that collar, too. So if you're making the boy version, this almost looks like Harry Potter, doesn't it? <laughs> if you're making the there you go. There's another thing you can make out of these. <laughs> you can make Harry Potter. But... Okay, so if you're making the masculine version with the tie, 
Um, that's how you would make it. Now, I'm going to make mine for a feminine version. I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, now I took Petal Pink, and you can change this again for whomever you're making it for. I am going to lift this up in a minute, so I'm not going to press down too hard. All right. Now this I'm going to attach actually to the back of here. I'm leaving this cardstock backing on it. It is says adhesive if you peel that off, um, but I'm going to leave the cardstock backing on it because I want it. I don't want it to be um, see through. There, that's going to be her dress, and I there. I don't want to see any of the the um, cardstock underneath it. I just want it to be a white dress. Okay, so. That is the feminine version. So those are the two different ways that you can make it. And then I've got some gold cord. And this comes from the Simply Elegant Trim. There's gold and sil silver cord. This is also coming out in that new catalog. And um, you'll be able to find, actually, the both of the trims that I'm using here will be in that new catalog um, available on Tuesday. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this with some... So seal adhesive, and like I said, I'm, I'm peeling back that. In fact, I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I think it's too long. I haven't attached this yet. I was just kind of showing it. I am going to peel this back. Probably you could do the necklace before you attach. So I just ran the seal adhesive on one side of the necklace to hold it in place. Yeah, okay. So recommendation, do it before you attach. <laughs> and then these just tuck underneath the back of the necklace just tucks underneath <laughs> Peggy that's a good idea she said she didn't have any gold cord so she removed cord from the Christmas card tags that she saved <laughs> hey recycle reuse right hanging down straight. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and attach this. Now I have already attached the uh, linen to the, the front or to the back of that so it's already sticking to it. And then this will cover the rest of the card front. Oh, her necklace is down too low. We need a shorter chain. That's good. It's an adjustable necklace. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so next up I'm going to do the scroll. For that, I'm taking some black baker's twine that is in the Baker Twine Essentials Pack. Again, this is coming out in the new um, catalog next Tuesday. And uh, the, I'm going to use both the white and the black for the rest of the uh, other pieces of this card. So I've got the measurements for the, this is the diploma right here. And before I roll it up to, be, to make it the diploma, I'm going to take this foam folder and just loosen up these um, fibers in it so that it'll it'll curl easier and it won't get um, kind of denty. All right, and so then I'm just rolling, let me just zoom in a little bit here so you can see the roll. I'm literally just taking it and rolling it to make the diploma rolled up there. And then let's go ahead and take, and I'm using tear tape here um, to hold it together only because I found anytime I take anything and roll it like this, it doesn't it doesn't naturally want to stay rolled. It wants to pop out. So I'm gonna take something a little bit stronger than the seal adhesive for that. But you are gonna um, tie it after too, so that will reinforce it so it won't pop. Okay. So there's our diploma. Take some of that black twine from that combo pack. I'm going to 
and tie that around the diploma. I just tied it in a knot. There we go. And then I'm going to put some, um, some more of this tear tape on the back to stick it to the card. The pressure of removing the backing of the tear tape when I'm live is... <laughs> there we go. Okay. It's like it always, it always just, you know, it's, it just waits, you know? Like I could be making this, I could make 10 of these cards and never have an issue, but then I go live and oh my, always, always on the tear tape. Okay, so I'm going to put the little diploma down here. So we've got our diploma and now I'm going to make the tassel. I made the tassel out of the white um, Baker Twine, and the the reason why I did that, because we do have the gold, we use the gold. I tried it with the gold, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it came out. It just didn't look right to me. So when I did it with the white, I really liked it. So I'm going to go with the white, and here's what I'm doing. I'm wrapping it around my fingers a few times, as thick as you want it. I'm going to cut that off. And then we're just going to cut a second piece and tie it. Around the top there and tie that in a knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the scissors on the bottom here and cut off that loop on the bottom. There we go. And that is gonna give us our tassel. There it is. <laughs> Fairly easy, right? Now, leave one of these long. We're gonna use that to hold, like make it look like it's being held down. Um, and for that, I'm gonna take one of the rhinestone gems. Whatever color um, goes here, uh, I, I'm doing the gold, so I'm going with the gold. Actually, I think I did gold on all of mine. And this, I want to go back. So before I attach this, I'm going to show you another little uh, another little secret that I'm going to do here. So I'm going to make this loop look like it's it's um, it's going to be attached to that, um, it's not really going to be, it's not really being held on by a loop, but it's just going to look like it is. I'm holding the rest of that on with a tiny little blue dot. It's not going to be seen. Did I pick, no, I did pick one up. Okay. So then I'm going to go right to the center. There we go. And then wherever you want, that's on there. Wherever you want this to hang, That's where that um, dimensional is going to go, right there. And then what I did was I kind of, oops, I'm sorry, I was working down low. Sorry for that. Okay, so then I fanned out a little, just not, not too much, just a little bit. There we go, kind of like that. And I put, <laughs> this is a little little secret, just like that, was um, another dimensional behind it. I, I, I used a full size for this one. And that kind of held it in place, but it held it up off the card where, I mean, you could put glue dots or seal or, or you know, your liquid glue or whatever down there. But this kind of holds it, that, that dimensional that I'm putting back behind there holds it up so it looks like it's kind of hanging. Gives it the illusion that it's hanging. There we go. It is not liking my um, dimension on the top, so I'm going to move that and see if it stays. Let's see what happens. No, I feel like that needs it needs something. I'm going to put a glue dot under there. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, I feel like I need to redo that now. I got afraid. I got afraid. <laughs> it's afraid not. All right. Take two. It's it, it's really all on there. This is I just want it to look like it's hanging. off of this. It, I want it to look like it's hanging off of the the uh, rhinestone. Which it isn't. I, it just, I wanted it to look like it is. There we go. Oops, move that out of there and our card is complete. And that is our graduation card. Let me play out just a hair so you can see. So that is our uh, maroon and gold. Oh, she's got little flecks of that uh, tassel everywhere. She's celebrating a lot with that tassel. Okay, so then we've got black and orange for another school. And then we, I've got the masculine version here for, and that one's blue and orange. So depending on your school colors, you can just change that up. Pretty easy, uh, <laughs> pretty easy change on the colors there. And this is all done with the suit and tie dyes from Stampin' Up. And you can get those in my online store if you don't have them already. But, they're just awesome and it has been a great sorry i keep doing that i keep hitting i keep hitting the wrong button <laughs> sorry so anyways it has been a very fun uh week sharing all of these uh these cards with you that i created with the suit and tie dye and if you've missed any of them head on over to stampwithtammy.com so that you can um, get the instructions for those. And don't forget to drop a comment here on this video so that you can be entered to win my drawing. I also have um, special in color kits that are uh, coming out, the in colors coming out in the new catalog. I special offer on kits if you are interested in collecting them. They are beautiful. I have lots of great, um, lots of great projects made with them already that I've shared on the blog. And this is the last day for this offer. Um, the last day for this offer is the free ombre gift bags. If you place a $50 order in my online store, you will get those free. And I would love, love, love to have you join me in my VIP club with my VIP club members. It is a lot of fun. And I do classes like this there every month. And I share ideas and tutorials there weekly, sometimes even daily. <laughs> Lots of inspiration. So if you want more information on that, you can get it on my blog. So thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.